Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making a unicorn inspired nail design using some of the new Madame Glam gel polishes from the House of Light collection. So starting off, I'll show you guys all the colours. First up we have El Rey, which is a beautiful, beautiful kind of like a teal colour. It's very pretty. Next up, we've got this gorgeous green. This one's called Airy Season, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, vibrant green. We also have this beautiful pink, which is called Royal Pink, and it's definitely got to be my favorite in this collection. I love a good pink. And lastly, I got the orangey, peachy kind of shade. This one's called the King's Speech, and it's a very beautiful pastel-y kind of peach colour. So I've got two other Madame Glam gel polishes that I'm going to use today, one of which is called Pinkster and the other one is Perfect White. Um, those did not come out in the most recent collection, so I thought I would just include it at the end just so you all know exactly what I'm using today. So I decided to pick up Pinkster just because I wanted a bit more of a muted pink, nothing too vibrant, nothing too in your face. Although right now maybe when I'm applying the base colour it looks pretty vibrant, but actually later on we're going to matte or coat this whole set and this pink is going to look perfect with the rest of the design so I'm going to apply the pinkster shade across all three of our nails here we are going to do two coats but I will go ahead and do the second coat off camera so once you've got the three nails applied with the pinkster we've got one nail that is going to be a marble so I decided to pick up all of those four beautiful shades that I got from the new collection and just marble it onto the nail so I'm not using any base um, gel underneath, although I highly recommend. I just couldn't find mine when I was filming this video, so I had to skip it to get this video <laughs> up on time for everybody. But usually it will be very recommended to place either a base coat or like a blooming gel that does the trick better than anything really. So if you've got a bloom and gel, just apply a thin layer of bloom and gel and you notice how it just magically makes everything disperse nicely and it also makes the you applying the gel polish on top so much more easier it feels like it floats more onto the nail than when you don't have anything so here I'm just kind of using my brush to kind of glide the gel polish and cover up any areas that I've managed to miss and then we're Gucci so that'll be our one marble nail it's a bit of a mad a nail and <laughs> there's quite a lot of gel polishes to marble so you won't always get um, all of them visible I feel like quite a lot of that light green is visible in this one and for the fifth and final nail, we're going to do a four-way ombre. So I thought I would pick up all of those four shades and ombre them together. So we're going to start off with that teal colour, then the green, then the peach, and then the beautiful light pink at the bottom. I am going to use my Madame Glam ombre brush to ombre all of these beauties together. And the method I'm using today is just going to be the back and forth with the ombre brush. If you're a regular on my channel, you'll probably know I used to use the brush, not the brush, the sponge method. So if you're more comfortable with that, then go ahead and do that. It can be easier or not. I feel like it's all completely down to the individual doing the nails. I used to be a massive sponge person and now I'm a brush person. Who would have thought? <laughs> Definitely not me so um you just want to go from one side to the other i like to start off by blending the two colors next to each other first and then once i'm happy i go right from the top right to the bottom and then I'm, that way i'm able to gradually um, kind of blend it all together so at the start i am not focusing on making it perfect straight away like i said i tackle the two colors next to each other ombre them in the center and then once i go from the top to the bottom that's when i'm really trying to focus on making sure all those shades are going to perfectly ombre together so that there's a nice little bl blend between all four of those colors so you want to make sure you leave it for a second before popping it into the lamp i've done the second layer now and we're going to sugar it i love the way this one looks it looks so yummy i was literally wanting to eat it it looks so yummy yummy so i'm just going to use some of my favorite glitter fine glitter from larissi i'm going to sprinkle it all on top of that wet layer if you don't want to use the wet layer of the gel polish you could go ahead and use the wet layer of a top coat if you wanted to so tap away any of that excess. I do like to tap the sides recently. I found that that way the edges are not that rough. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I'm going to pop those into the lamp. So now it's time to start doing our hand painted unicorn and rainbow image on our nails so it's been a little while since i've done like a proper hand painted design i feel like i've been really drawn to stamping i love stamping um 
and this is just so much easier I think than hand painting which is probably why I'm drawn to it so much more than hand doing things but I've been really 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 wanting to do a unicorn nail design for the longest time I do have a couple of plates but I love working on these long stiletto nails and my plates are just simply too the images on them are just simply too tiny so when these colours came through the post and I saw those, it literally just screamed to me unicorns um, or some rainbows and I just had to give it a go. Finally just tackle it and see what happens and I'm so glad I did. It was so fun to do and it's so incredibly easy. So as long as you, as you follow this tutorial, you should be so, so capable of making a unicorn little face and the clouds and the rainbow and everything. So do stick around because it's so much easier than it looks, I think. So um, with our two nails, as you can see, there's one already chilling in the background. I'm only showing you guys doing me one at a time. I will trim in a second to the end of that ombre, just because, uh, not ombre, the rainbow, just because someone ended up calling me and it cut my recording. <laughs> Typical. So I did a little cloud at the bottom and then I'm going to pick up all of those shades and I'm going to do a rainbow with them. So of course, it's not the real rainbow shades, nor are they going in the same order or anything, but... They're still very cute, pastel looking, especially when we matte top coat them. There we go, we've got our two rainbows there. So now it's time to tackle the actual unicorn itself. And guys, trust me, it was the easiest thing ever. And I'm here, I've been literally spending months trying to figure out how to do a unicorn design. I was trying stamping, but stamping makes it easier, but I, it's not lo large enough for the image, for the you know nails that I'm working on. So it's just been a, such a big pain, but yeah, it's just so easy. So you want to start off with finding where you want the top of your unicorn head to be. So this is exactly where I've placed my, almost halfway up the nail, you could say, maybe just shy of halfway. And then you want to colour it in and you want to, you could do a straight line. I did a slightly oval just to kind of mimic like a head. Once you colour it in, you're going to want to also do some two pointy little triangles to mimic the ears. I will go ahead and do a second layer of the white off camera as well in just a second. I'm just trying to even out the gel polish there. And now it's time for those ears. So basically drag a line and then just two other lines from that one, I guess. <laughs> and then you've got your little ears. So you could basically just pretend like you're doing a triangle, but a very thin triangle. You don't want them to too thick and you want to leave enough space in the middle of the head just because we are going to do that little horn there so you want to make sure you have enough space to do that so i've got two layers of white applied there now it's time for a horn so i decided to have a teal horn so we're doing another triangle in the center but those ones or this one you want to have so much taller than the ears so you want that one a little bit taller than the ears and you could say also a bit wider if you wanted to. Um, this was really fun to do and it's probably one of the like eye catching. It really makes, this bit really makes the unicorn look like a unicorn I think. So um, definitely make sure you don't skip this bit. So now that that's cured, I'm going to do some dots under the unicorn. So I decided not to <laughs> cure in between each dot, which probably was a bit of a mistake. The little polished dots decided to blend into one another, kind of like, you know, melt into one another so if you're gonna do it my way just do it quick or just kind of cure or do flash cures in between but I was placing the dots a little bit too close to one another so they ended up touching the gel polish and one color was kind of bleeding into the other so that was a little bit of a mistake there from me but it's cured now I'm going to use that peachy shade to do the inside of the ears so I'm just going to color that in there you want to make sure you leave that white kind of outline of the ear and just color in the center of it so I'm just going to finish that one up, pop into the lamp, and before we top coat, we need to do just some cheeks on this unicorn. I'm not sure if I included it. I did, actually. So I'm going to use some of that beautiful pink, and we're going to do the little cheeks there. It's going to look so cute at the end. I absolutely love this nail. So once it cures, we'll be able to apply some glitter quickly whilst that's curing before we matte top coat the whole thing and just add some additional details. We do end up adding some pearls at the end too, which I've been dying to do. I really think that unicorn is just completely making me think of pearls. So I had to include them and I haven't used pearls forever ever. So it was quite fun to whip them out and use them. So I'm going to use Madame Glam white, not white gel polish, base coat. We're going to use some Madame Glam base coat and I'm going to apply it on three nails. The two rainbow nails and also the marble nail as well. I'm going to add some of that chunky mixed glitter. So I'm going to only place the glitter onto the cloud area on both of the 
rainbow nails and then for the marbly nail I'm going to kind of do three lines from one side to the other kind of sl sliding downwards um, just to add a little bit of extra touch, a little bit of extra sparkle, even though we are going to matte top coat them. I love sometimes matte top coating these kind of glitters because they do create this really, really cool effect. So that's going to look cool at the end. You want to make sure you don't cross the white line on the cloud. You really strictly want to make sure that the glitter stays in the cloud and nowhere else. So now we're going to finish up this one. And then lastly, the little marble one. If you don't want to do a marble, I'm, I don't know if I'm fully sold on the marble nail. You could do another ombre nail for sure. Maybe rather than sugar in it, you could just leave it matte. Simply just matte. Just because it is so pretty. I absolutely love doing the, the couple coloured ombre. I think it's so cute and effective. Especially with this uh, unicorn. I feel like I just could have never um, found the best gel polishes for it. And when this collection came through, I was literally obsessed. Instantly it was... I looked at those and it was instantly right. Unicorn it is. This set is just definitely going to be unicorn. Now it's finally time for that marble nail. So there we go. I'm going to just kind of strictly keep it in like a line that's going top left to the bottom right. But it's not actually going right to the bottom. It's just going slightly, you know, downwards. So I'm just going to randomly spread them out. Um, the larger chunks of glitter were kind of getting stuck together in there. I didn't really know what was happening and it was picking up way too much. So it was a bit of a mess. It was probably would have been a better idea to just kind of sprinkle a bit of that glitter onto a little pot somewhere else so I can actually grab what I could and want it out of there rather than you know dipping my brush in there. So once I'm happy you can go ahead and cure it. Once it's cured we'll be finally able to top coat these. So for today's set I am going to my top coat those. I know I've been just constantly matte top coating but oh, I just love it. I am using my um, Vanillisa matte top coat because I don't actually have a Madame Glam just a Madame Glam Velvet Matte Top Coat. I don't have one of those, so I had to whip out a different one. I do have their Sparkly Matte Top Coat, but I didn't want to use that one for today's set. I feel like that would, that would have just been completely too much. I feel like there's already quite a lot going on in this set, and adding that even extra sparkle to the design would have been a bit much, and just not what I was going for. So once you're happy, place a nice generous amount. Of course, we have glitter there, so if you wanted to make sure that the nails are smooth, you can use Builder Gel on top. Or what else can you use? A couple of layers of base coat or top coat just to kind of smooth them out. You can also buff the nails later and all of that good stuff. But of course today it's just a nail design. Nobody's wearing these so I won't be having to faff about with that. I can just matte top coat one layer and be good to go. So I'll pop those into the lump. Here we are. So they are now matte. I ended up just trimming a little bit because I was having the hardest time making those isometrical. So once you've got your two lines... Just add some little lashes and that will be the face done. We can then work on our little horn in a second. I feel like the black lines really do give that unicorn outline and really pull the design together. So I'm using Nail Art Gel in the shade Black. I think Madame Glam have one too where they cure tack free on top of matte layers and everything. So they're so good for nail art purposes and all of that good stuff. So here for the horn, I don't know if you can see but I'm almost doing like an S kind of shape and then I'm just connecting them together to do the horn. Um, I think it's the right way, I'm not quite sure. I haven't really watched a video on how to do unicorn faces. I'm just kind of trying to guide myself through an image I found. So hopefully that does it, but I feel like it looks pretty good. So I think it's not the worst. So that's going into the lamp for 60 seconds. Now it's time, now it's time for the rainbow nail. So I don't show you guys too much of me doing this. It's incredibly repetitive and quite time consuming. Today's set was quite long. Um, you want to use the black to outline the clouds. And then once I outline, I do go ahead and pop it into the lamp because I didn't really trust myself. And we're working with pretty thin lines and precise lines and I didn't want to knock anything and touch anything and smudge things because knowing me I would have done that so quick so I do end up popping that into the lamp and I also outline each shade of the rainbow which I did off camera so now that everything has been cured you want to make sure you do it on both of those rainbow nails it's time to add just a little sprinkle of <laughs> pearls so I'm only going to add the pearls on the top area of our rainbow so in case you didn't leave yourself too much area not to worry you don't need to add the pearls but if you wanted to you can or you could even maybe add some where the unicorn face is I've got I can see I've got quite a little bit of area there too but I thought it'd be quite fun to do it where the 
rainbow is. So I'm just sprinkling just a very, very small couple of those pearls. So how much have I put? One, two, three, four, five pearls. And I'm just kind of picking up random sizes, some small, some large, doesn't have to be the same size. If you have the same size, that would work too. Anything really would go. It doesn't even have to be white either. I know you can get some really fun colored pearls like blues and pinks and you could maybe do like a little ombre on top of there too. Or maybe even an ombre with pearls. That would be really cool as well. So I'm just going to add that. The rhinestone glue gel that I'm using today is from the cut, if anyone's wondering. And those pearls, I believe, were from Shein. It came in this little container, as you can see, with different other little charms and stuff. Pop it into the lamp. And here are our final results. I hope you guys liked it. I'll make sure to have all the links in the description to Madame Glam. They've got a beautiful launch. So if you were kind of looking around seeing which ones you like then this is definitely a collection to get because it's definitely my most favorite so make sure to check out all the links down in the description i hope you guys liked this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i would love to see you all in my next video bye guys